Hello and welcome. This video is the second in a series of videos in which I'll discuss my approach to RFP and auction design, including questions to ask, scoring methods, and auction choice criteria. In this video, I shall cover the topic of questionnaire design in the sourcing process. Many of your best questions should be documented in the SAP Ariba sourcing library, but if not, Here's how you can design effective question sets. First, identify those stakeholder groups whose interests must be considered in the process. Ask your stakeholders for the questions that are important to them. They may not know, so be prepared to help them. Pose your questions in closed format for efficient assessment, open format for creative proposals. Consider phasing your questions through the different stages of the event funnel. I think we've all seen RFPs with hundreds of questions which place a large burden on suppliers, particularly if those questions do not allow the supplier the chance to make his own case. And finally, save your questions and templates in the sourcing library for future use. On the left hand side of my table, you can see I have identified my stakeholder groups. I need to consider my stakeholder requirements for information at the stage of at each stage of my process. So even at this stage, I'm thinking about how I shall compose my reports and answer the questions that will inevitably arise. I've created nine sections that are broadly aligned with the stakeholder groups in my project. For example, where my stakeholder is legal, I shall place all of their questions inside my terms and conditions section. Of course, it is possible to just create one large section with everything inside. I've chosen this method because it works well with my preferred scoring and assessment methods. More on that in the next video. I have in my mind the analysis schema shown. I need to answer the questions, will suppliers comply? Are suppliers a good fit for my business? So having built the first stage of my framework, I move to the actual question. The three question examples shown are all closed because the answers must come from a predefined set of responses. In the event of the terms and conditions question, it's easy to be tempted to make that a straight yes no, but because I know that suppliers in the event already have agreed terms with my company, I've given that option. My purpose in, answer, in asking the financial question is to determine the size of the supplier and whether or not the supplier is large enough to service my contract. Because I know the expected value of my contract, I vary the number with each RFP. The final question allows the supplier to differentiate based on experience with punch out over the Ariba network. Notice in all three cases, I've covered what I hope are all of the possible options. I favor closed questions for the potential to auto assess responses, building efficiency into our process. But of course, open questions are important too. The first of my open questions is a follow-up to the closed question on terms and conditions. In my analysis schema, I ask questions about supplier compliance and if non-compliance was a problem. And so I answer those questions with a closed open pair. For the open question, I allow multiple lines and attachments for a comprehensive response. And of course, a response is set to not required as the supplier may have agreed in the first question. The second type of open question explores a positive rather than a negative. Early in a multi-stage event, I encourage my suppliers to offer creative responses and can do that through this type of open question. Suppliers can be put off by a very large question set, particularly where they feel they may have little chance of winning the business. In a multi-stage event, I get the chance to sequence my questions, asking only the necessary screening questions at the first stage, but then growing the number of questions as I move through the process. By the end, I have fewer, more engaged suppliers involved, at which point they're incentivized to answer. I change the balance of my open and closed questions as I progress through the event. Of course, a single stage event and a multi-stage can be preceded by a pre-qualifying event in which many of these questions are dealt with. Please join me in the next video in this series where I shall examine scoring and assessment. If you have any further questions at this stage, please contact your SAP Ariba customer engagement executive for more information.